What's up, YouTube? I told you guys I was going to be back for another video. There it is. There you go. Um, so, <clears throat> this first video that I want to do <clears throat> has been happening a lot. A lot in this area. Um, and yet, it's happening again. Sinkhole. Sinkhole closes the road in Pittsburgh, Oakland neighborhood. If you look at the picture, it doesn't look that big, but they said that it was, let me see. Okay, it just says a large, large sinkhole. It doesn't actually show like how big it is, but let me take a screenshot of that and let me zoom into it. So, there you go. So, let me tell you guys this. Sinkholes do not open up because of earthquakes whew, and things like that. That's what they will tell you. Sinkholes open up because of them working underground. I know you guys are probably laughing when you watch this video, but it's true. Have you ever seen, when you're driving around, have you ever seen construction going on and they have like this big huge tent up and they have one little part of it open and you can see that you could go down underground? I did. Three times already. Not in my city, but when I was driving. And I'm like... Why do they need a tent up to go down in the ground? Is it because of the rain? No. Because the whole construction site doesn't have a tent. It's just right over that little manhole cover. And somebody just happened to have a little bit of it left open and it was exposed. Three times. Not once, not twice. Three times. Okay, so this says... A large sinkhole closed a street in Pittsburgh, Oakland neighborhood on Wednesday morning near the University of Pittsburgh's Cathedral of Learning. I know where that's at. Sky 4 Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's only news chopper showed video of the sinkhole in the 300 block of South Belfield Avenue between 5th and Forbes Avenue. The scene is in front of the Pittsburgh Public Schools Administrative Building. South Belfield Ave Avenue is closed until repairs are being made. Guys, it is going to take them a lot to fix this sinkhole. It's going to be a lot of cement. That's crazy. Alright, y'all. So, yeah, sinkhole in Oakland. Do some research, guys. Because, one... We don't have physical earthquakes here, okay? So why would there be a sinkhole? And why is it only one sinkhole? There was one that was in another city that was close enough to me. Then there was this one in Oakland, and then there was one in Pittsburgh that swallowed part of a bus. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, you can see it's big enough. It's going to take them a while. If you zoom back out, you can see, like, the bigger part of it. So, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and let me know if you have noticed any sinkholes in your area. And it was crazy because naturally there's four. I was driving down the main street down here where I live. And it wasn't in the middle of the road, but it was like off to the side. But cars could have hit it because you know, it was too lame. So a car coming around the bend, it was coming out into the street. So it was on the side of the street, but it was it came out into the street so you would actually have to go around into the other lane and it was on a bend so when you're coming around that bend you don't see it until you're actually there and if there's another car coming over here this way 
you can't go around it. So I pulled over and I called um, the police department and I, you know, let them know about it. Whether they came or not that day, I don't know, but it was fixed. So that's enough for this video. I am going to tell you about another. Hmm, Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned because this is crazy and it's important. All right, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Like I said, comment and let me know if you guys have experienced any sinkholes in your neighborhood, in your state, city, wherever. If you noticed any and how weird was it. All right, y'all. I will see you guys in the next video.